welcome to another tech video. So today I'm going to be having a quick look inside uh, a Netgear 48 port switch. Uh, the reason, there's, there's no other reason from just being nosy and making sure that it's going to be okay. So we're going to be um, installing this on a client site. So we want to make sure that uh, uh, it's not too dusty inside uh, because it's come out from a previous site. So let's have a look at it. Okay, so I think getting into one of these, uh, there's a number of screws there's two on each side. There's one in the middle at the top uh, and potentially we might need to take the front, the front plate off as well. Um, not sure at the moment. So let's make a start, see if we can get into this fairly easily. So these two down here aren't the fan screws. They are the case or the cover screws. So it's okay to take them out without risk of the fans dropping onto the main board. And then we've got one on the back here. Oh, that one's pretty tight. Okay. Okay, so now you've got the screws off, let's see if we can get the cover off. Okay, it looks like. Just needed a slightly bigger Phillips tip. Go on the end here. That's it. And then we should be able to get the cover off. There we go. Okay, so inside, not a great deal to it. These are all the uh, port modules controllers. The two fans on the side there. Nothing to it, and nice and clean. A little bit of dust on the inside. So we'll just give that a little, little dust off. But on the whole, that's pretty good condition. So yeah, we just need to pop that back together and we can then reuse that at a client site. The power supply all looks good here. No concerns on that at all. And then now we've got it all back together, I think the first thing that we should do is get it connected. So we're going to plug it in to our network. We're going to stick that in port whatever, doesn't really matter. We'll put it in port one. Like that. Fans are a little noisy, but once it's started up, they should quieten down. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to factory reset the device. There we go, it's gone silent now. Oh, that's good. So it's still starting up. Still not ready yet, although the fans have slowed right down, which is nice. Okay, we've got an activity light now, so let's now have a look to see if we can find the device on our network. See if we've got IP scan on here, which we do. Okay, so let's just have a quick sweep of the network. Yeah, I can see a few devices that it might be. Not these two. I think they're, I think they're printers. Let's try it, shall we? 10.37. Okay, yep, here's our Netgear switch. So, I don't know what the password is for this, I don't think. Yes, I do. We're in. OK. 
So I think this is running bulk standard configuration at the moment, which is what we want. Dynamic IP address, perfect. So that means that we'll be able to access it, access it, access it once it's on the client network. Perfect. So this this is uh, ready to go in basically. So, yep, we can finish that off now. So that, that's all there was to that video basically. So the next thing is we're going to uh, stick some brackets on it, take it to our client site and then install it. So this will replace a, a 16 port switch that's there at the moment. But they've just expanded into another office. So um, we're going to have a load more devices connecting. So um, this will suit them down to the ground. So if you found that video useful, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Just want to say thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.